Hi, welcome to Just Collect. Today we have an interesting collection. It was brought to us by a gentleman who bid on these cards uh, while he worked at a, the Sporting News magazine um, back in the late 1980s. These were all attached um, to a couple poster boards and were offered in three different lots. Uh, he mentioned that his colleagues and he all thought that they were probably worthless because of all the tape. In the late 80s, they didn't have a lot of value. Um, these are all almost all T206s, varying backs, mostly Piedmont and Sweet Caporal. But here are a few uh, a few polar bears, a sovereign, and some El Principe de Gaes cards. Uh, a couple T205s, the gold borders, including a Matthewson. And then we see some of the commons here. You see varying degrees of the tape residue on the front. And the tape damage to the back. Cards are in pretty good shape otherwise. Uh, about 100, 110 cards in total. Again, you see some of the tape residue on the cards. He put these away after he won the auction. He bid on these and won each lot at $5. So we paid $15 for about 100 plus T206s. And you'll see kind of decent value here in the fact he's got a, a bender. For us, Nan, these are just Hall of Famers. A couple of chase cards. Uh, Chessboro, uh, Kovalevsky, and Crawford, Keeler. You see the Hall of Famers as we go through here. A couple of McGraws, a Speaker, Waddell, Willis. Then obviously the Chicago connection with Tinker, Evers, or Evers as some people like to pronounce it, and Chance, as well as the Titus card, the only player with a mustache in the set. And the two most prominent Hall of Famers that were in the collection, Christy Mathewson and Cy Young with the bare hand showing. Again, the back does have a tape residue. Uh, he said after storing these, he went and found these about a year or so ago and they'd all fallen off the original cardboard. And this is the condition they were found in. Contacted us, we were able to purchase them and uh, we'll be offering these shortly uh, via our auctions. Thanks for joining us. Remember that JustCollect.com is always buying vintage sports and non-sports cards from 1879 to 1979.